Hey everyone, Dana here. Fellow Americans, after so many videos of questions for Germans, I finally have some questions for you as well. So please let me know your answers or thoughts about these questions down in the comments. I also made a German video today with totally different questions for Germans in German. So link to that video as well down in the description box below. What do you call this? What do you call it? I grew up calling it a water fountain, but I know that some people call it a drinking fountain or a bubbler. So my question here is, what do you call this thing? And what other names for this thing are there in English, in the US or in, in any other country? Yeah, what names does this thing have in English? The other day I was talking to a German friend of mine and they told me that they had several bags of flour im Vorrat in the basement. And then they asked me how to say that in English. And I was like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure. And I realized that I didn't have an immediate one-to-one -one answer for them for im Vorrat in this case. So im Vorrat literally means in stock, but I would usually use in stock in a store setting only. So like a grocery store has 50 bags of flour in stock but I wouldn't think to use in stock for my home. If I have three bags of potato chips in my pantry, I might say I'm all stocked up on potato chips, but I would not say that I have three bags of potato chips in stock because I'm at home, not at a supermarket. So my question here is, can you think of an English equivalent that I'm missing here for im Vorrat? How would you say this in English? Like if you, if someone asks you, do we, do we need to buy potato chips at the store? Yeah, don't, no, don't worry about it. I've, we've got three bags of potato chips in the pantry, in the basement, in the cupboard. I feel like there's a phrase I'm missing. Or have I just gotten so used to the German phrase im Vorrat that now I think there's an English phrase for that, but there's not. So I feel this like hole where that should be. That's my question. Please let me know in the comments. <laughs> okay, so a random question now, and I, I could have actually put this one in the German video too, because it applies here as well. People do this here too, um, but yeah, I didn't. Anyway, my question is, when you're watching a YouTube video and the YouTuber says at like the beginning of the video that, you know, it might be a long video, so maybe pause the video here and go get yourself a cup of coffee or tea or yeah. I have a feeling that this might be kind of an emotional topic for me. I don't know. I've got a coffee prepared. So maybe you want to pause the video now and go prepare yourself a coffee or some other comfy, cozy drink of your choosing. Have you ever actually paused the video and gotten up and gotten something to drink for the video. I have definitely said this in videos and I am just super curious to know, does anyone ever get up and get something to drink? I don't think I have ever gotten up and gotten something to drink when I'm watching a YouTube video and the person says, pause the video and get something to drink. But I have said it in YouTube videos. When I try to think back on why I said it, um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I think at least in part it's about, well, it's about wanting to create a cozy environment atmosphere, but also I think it's a little bit about like trying to create a kind of together, not alone atmosphere. Like with social media, we are more connected than, uh, than ever. And yet I also feel like we're, like I'm kind of disconnected from people and the world somehow. And I think that with the coffee or tea thing, I was maybe trying to establish some kind of like not being alone in the universe feeling, you know, like, hey, I'm drinking a coffee in the video and you're drinking a coffee in real life. Maybe I, we're all not so alone in the world. Yeah, something like that, I think. Okay, this was supposed to be a lighthearted video. So um, let's bring it back to smiley faces. How do you make a smiley? Which one of these? I am team this smiley here 
all the way, but I have noticed that Stefan often does make his smileys like this, which I can handle. It's not my favorite. Uh, I prefer the simplicity of this smiley. But what really throws me off is when people make their smileys like this. Like, what? To me, it looks like it's the wrong way around. Like, that the head is somehow upside down. And I get that it's not, but it's still somehow jarring to me <laughs> to see smileys like this. Am I the only one who has like a smiley preference? I can't be the only one. So let me know in the comments, what is your smiley preference? In the last year, a lot of cloth face masks got made and or purchased. And my question is, what designs do you have on your cloth face masks? Are they just one or two solid colors, some kind of prints, really bold, bright colors? I asked this question because my mom made some really bright, fun face masks for me and Stefan, and I loved them, but for Stefan, they were a little too colorful and exciting with the prints that she chose for the masks. So I'm just curious about your face masks. What is the difference between unhelpful and not helpful for you? So if someone says, ugh, that conversation was really unhelpful versus, ugh, that conversation was really not helpful. What do those two sentences mean to you? Are they the same or are they different? I asked you before about this, but now what do you call these. I call them sneakers, but I have also heard tennis shoes. So what do you call them? So my question for you is, what are your answers to these questions? Please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. You can also check out the video in German, link to that down in the description box below. As I said, there are different questions in that video. You can also follow me over on my Instagram at Wanted Adventure. My Instagram stories are usually in German and I I usually make little English subtitles for them. And a really, really, really big thank you so, so, so very much to our patrons on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Thank you so very much for your support. Until next time, auf Wiedersehen.